presenting the amygdala, a roughly almond-shaped mass of gray matter inside each cerebral hemisphere. It is involved with experiencing of emotions. Up next, the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland is an endocrine, hormone-producing gland that sits just beneath the base of the brain, behind the bridge of the nose. It is very small, only about the size of a pea. We have the pituitary gland. The peduncles. The peduncles are made up of the ventral and dorsal areas. The peduncles are the main highway for signals that need to be transported from the cortex to other parts of the central nervous system and are especially important for body coordination. Next is the hippocampus. Hippocampus is the elongated ridges on the floor of each lateral ventricle of the brain. It is the center of emotion, memory, and the autonomic nervous system. Again, the hippocampus. Tegmentum and tectum. The tegmentum is also called as the protectum. It is a multisynaptic network of neurons in the ventral part of the midbrain, which is engaged in numerous unconsciously occurring homeostatic and reflexive processes. While the tectum, it consists of two relay nuclei pairs known as the corpora quadrigemina collectively. The tectum regulates eye movements, approach, and avoidance movements through its linkage to premotor regions. Hypothalamus The hypothalamus is a region of the forebrain below the thalamus. It coordinates the autonomic nervous system and the activity of the pituitary gland, controlling homostatic systems, and is involved in sleep and emotional activity. The limbic system is a collection of structures such as I'm hypothalamus, hippocampus guys and present, amygdala at your service, pituitary gland so happy to be here. Hi everyone, just want to have some sun in this shaded place where I can talk to you all about the limbic system. The limbic system is located in the cerebral cortex and immediately under the temporal lobes in the cerebrum of the brain. One of the definitions of the limbic system is to connect the unconscious functions of the brainstem with the conscious functions of the cerebral cortex. Guys, come on! Tell us the function of the limbic system. First function of the limbic system is to connect the unconscious functions of the brainstem with conscious functions of the cerebral cortex. The second function is that it aids with memory retrieval and storage, processing and uncontrolling children. Next function is learning. Sexual arousal. Oh dear lord. This area to be sleeping. What are you doing there? She's just thinking, just thinking how handsome and lean the man I want. And I don't think he likes it. It's just a dream. Right? Can I see that man? Well, I could tell you if he likes you. Uh, maybe it's just some other time. We can have some talk to control ourselves by just looking at him. It's just a dream, guy. Okay? Can't wait to see you. Hey, so where is this man? Is he McDreamy or McSteve? As you can see, amygdala has autism because of its small size neuron and high cell density. While well, hippocampus develops anxiety disorder because of her flashbacks, and Todd is her ex-boyfriend. Hmm. 
What is really the function of the midbrain? Come on, let's learn about it. Presenting the organs of the midbrain. Presenting the midbrain. Hello, I'm Bruce Sarah Bright. Hi, I'm Pandanka. Who is Pigmentum and Tectum? Pendantos, your reflex and action motor in camera in the midbrain. Your animals in appropriately circumstances like that. Tegmentum and tectum. Tegmentum is the ventral part of the midbrain and the tectum is the dorsal part of the midbrain. It is located between the ventricular system and distinctive basal or ventral structure at each level. It forms as the floor of the midbrain whereas the tectum is the ceiling of the midbrain. We wouldn't be able to react to danger or even move without the midbrain's role. Through cerebri, the midbrain, which is the component of the central nervous system, it is the way that the top of the brain stem and begin to the cerebral cortex. Movement of the head and body is the function of the midbrain because it allows cerebral cortex to send roads to pass through. It is served as the pathway for the spinal cord to, to carry sensory stimuli from the head and body to the brain directly. Father and the two daughters because of the Nota Gel syndrome. 